Emily, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you over the last two years, and I wish you the best of luck in your next chapter. Oh, <laughs> so, okay, I wasn't gonna cry, but I just, okay. I'll start, I wrote this on the prompter because I was scared that I wouldn't remember anything. But as you might know, as Bill said, this is my last weekend at News 8. So these past two years have been amazing and I want to take a minute to say thank you. Thank you to my parents, my little siblings, all my family and friends, and friends' parents. I know one of them is watching tonight who watch from way out of the area. It's really been an honor to tell so many fun, inspiring, really difficult and powerful stories. And I want to thank all the incredible mentors, coworkers I've had during my time here. I've grown so much from every single one of them. I like can't stress it enough. I also want to shout out the crew behind the scenes. Newscasts aren't possible without everyone behind the camera, including directors, producers, production staff, and my fellow anchors and reporters who take the time to go through every single thing I write to make sure we're doing your stories justice. I'm also really, I'm just really proud of what I've created with everyone's help and with your help. I also want to thank all of you at home for watching and helping to support local journalism. The work we do is really important and it's not possible without the community around it. So please keep sharing your stories and supporting what we do. And also, I want to shout out Cade because we started around the same time and we got to the weekends together and it's been amazing. We did, it has. The weekends have been fun and I'm sure I speak for everyone here at News 8 that we're going to miss you and best of luck with what's next and it's been awesome working with you, Emily. Thank you so much. Well, thank you all for watching News 8. I'll be here again on Wednesday, so don't worry.